Hi, I'm Kristen with ArtReach. I am here with Four Bend Recovers with Creativity in the hopes of bringing you videos that can help you with resources that are available to the citizens of Fort Bend County and beyond. Today we have with us Sue Levin. Sue, welcome. Thank you, Kristen. Glad to be here. Now tell us, you are with HGI. Can you tell us a little bit more about HGI and what you guys do for the community? You bet. Well, HGI actually stands for the Houston Galveston Institute, and we are a training institute and counseling center that started 42 years ago in Galveston. Ever since then, we've been training mental health professionals and working with people in need of services all over the greater Houston area, and now we're in Fort Bend, and we've been in our own office in Richmond. And in those offices, we see clients, we see individuals, couples, families, and groups of people who need support around different issues that may be bothering them or interrupting their lives in some way. I'm sure nowadays with all the things that are going on in 2020 that we are all in need of a little counseling. Have you seen an uptick in the need for counseling lately? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people uh, at first were hesitant, I think, to get counseling. We started offering teletherapy, which means online services, uh, using video like I'm doing right now with you, Kristen, where we can see each other and talk about what's going on but also using the telephone when people didn't have access to video services. So uh, we are definitely seeing more and more people who are wanting support, who are dealing with difficult issues, including losing jobs, losing loved ones, uh, being isolated, alone, depressed, scared, in new situations they never expected to be in. And all of these things can benefit from having somebody to talk to, uh, having somebody to problem solve with and uh, getting support. I think nowadays, if you're struggling, I think it's called normal <laughs> right. because it's Precedented time. None of us have ever been through this before. And so it's nice to know that there's resources out there. Now, Sue, uh, I, tell me a little bit more about services. Now, your services, are they free of charge? Do you qualify for them? I mean, what? Are, how does someone get the counseling? Yeah, thanks for asking about that, um, Kristen. Our services are available for everyone. And, and especially, like I said, since so many people are worried about their uh, finances right now, maybe worrying about their jobs. Um, we want to make sure everybody knows that we don't turn people away. We find ways to make sure that everybody gets what they need at HGI. And that includes having free services, uh, having very low cost services. And for those who can afford it, we, we certainly uh, appreciate people who pay uh, the cost of services, but our, our services can be offset by donations. And uh, we have very generous foundations who also support us with grants and make it possible for us to be able to see clients, again, uh, at all levels of economic need. Now you see people for a huge range of different um, circumstance or different needs. Yes, absolutely. And, and as we get closer to the holidays, I think that uh, that's gonna bring up a whole nother set of adjustments again. And I, I, I'm calling them adjustments. Sometimes uh, we're, we're not adjusting and that's when it can get really rough. Uh, but we are heading into a, a time when People expect to be cheerful and to be happy and to uh, be celebrating. And you may not feel like doing that right now. A lot of us don't. And so um, again, people who already have 
stress or mental health issues going on uh, prior to what is happening with the pandemic may see much more of the symptoms uh, show up. Maybe, maybe they were managing just fine, but all of a sudden it's gotten worse. Or people who've never had issues with depression or anxiety may have developed them or, or be developing them now. And that's all, like you said, Kristen, pretty normal uh, given the situation that we're in. And do you counsel um, for people with substance abuse issues or help them find other resources? Yes, we certainly can help people who are wanting to work on those issues. And yes, people are turning to um, substances, to um, negative behaviors, uh, whether it's food or alcohol or drugs or all kinds of um, addictive kinds of behaviors to escape the, the feelings and the fears and uh, concerns that they have right now. Now you do marriage counseling. I'm sure you help parents out who might be struggling with their kids at home. And that's, a, that's been a big thing too. To a, lot of, a lot of balance issues around managing your own needs, your kids' needs, having multiple people in the house day in and day out and not having a way to uh, take a break is um, something that has actually escalated. You mentioned substance abuse being up, but also domestic violence has also increased. All of those are things that, that we're there, we're, we're, we're here and trained to help with. We also are partnering with the Lamar Consolidated Independent School District. And okay. many of our therapists work uh, either part-time or full-time in the schools. Uh, we have a history of working in schools and working with kids and parents and teachers around um, the kinds of issues that come up. That's, I think, one of the things that our organization is known for. So you give counseling starting with children in elementary school on up through seniors. And so... Um, if there's been some parent-child um, issues, um, then you can come in and do a team approach. And so some counseling might be for the child and some might be right. for the parent, some might be for the family. So it's a complete, complete package that everybody gets the help that they need in a family. It's about practical tips for parents and, and how they can best help their children and support their children. I love that you have counseling for everybody available. I think that that's amazing, especially when entire family dynamic might be involved. I know when one person in a family struggles, the whole family struggles. And so it's nice that those services are available. So one of the things that we have been doing over the last four years at HGI is work with mind-body skills. So we've been trained to provide groups, individual work, and large group workshops around mind-body skills that help all of us manage the stress, anxiety, and trauma that we all experience, some more than others, some more severe than others. But all of us in this day and age, and especially now with the pandemic, are uh, vulnerable to having these things impact us and not just in our mental health, but also in our physical health. So ongoing and chronic stress, for example, can really take a toll on our bodies. And so learning ways to manage that, and that's what we share in our groups and in our work together, um, a lot of different skills. These things can help with issues like um, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, pain management, a uh, number of things that actually may be the result of living with chronic stress. Even the workshops can be done online. And, and so um, if you're already part of a group, that might be interested, like a, a work group or 
uh, some club that you're in or even a family group and you think, oh, this would be really great for my family to do, um, call us and we'll help figure out how to put it together. Now, you don't turn anybody away, which means obviously you do run, as you mentioned, on foundation money and donations. So if I wanted to get involved and help support your organization, how can I do that? Well, we would be happy to have donations to support our work. Most of our clients uh, pay a discounted fee or no fee at all. So it is really helpful to have support from the community. Great. So they would, somebody would just go to your homepage and then click on donate and it will take them right there. Now, we've talked about how, that you do provide services for free or at a discounted rate. How do you qualify for that or where do I go to sign up for that? So there's no special sign up. All you need to do to start working with us and, and we're ready. As soon as people call, we don't delay uh, getting people in for counseling. Uh, we don't have a waiting list. Um, we do our best to avoid that. And we also don't have extensive forms and um, things that have to be done before you come in. In fact, we have uh, a program where we do try to get you, if you need it, a session the same day that you call. Uh, you and the therapist talk about your fee. It's not something we set up ahead of time because we believe it's something that's somewhat of a personal nature for a lot of people. Let's talk a little bit about seniors because I know that they've been particularly hard hit. I'm sure that a lot of your clients are seniors as they try to deal with the isolation. We certainly have plenty of seniors who, if not before, have now learned how to use uh, Zoom and FaceTime. And I just finished doing some groups of um, seniors. And these were groups of 10. And everybody was on Zoom. And it worked out really well. So the group setting um, added a social aspect and uh, possibly some connections with people that they're, they're going to continue with. You know, it really is working together is how we're all going to make it through. I know we're all struggling, but some are struggling more. And it's nice to know that there's some resources for these people. Um, and so I'm so grateful for your services out there for the community of Fort Bend. And so if I need services, all I need to do is call or email in. Yep. Uh, let somebody know that that's what I am needing. Our offices are open from nine to five. Our email is admin at talk HGI. And we also have a specific Fort Bend email, which is HGI Fort Bend at talk HGI.org. The one thing about our Fort Bend office that I want to mention is that we are not open on Mondays because we are open on sun Saturdays. Although we do also have evening appointments during the week. Thank you so much for everything you do for the community. What a fabulous organization that you're working with. Again, we're all going to get through this together. Supporting and caring for each other is how we're going to make that happen. And we thank HGI for being part of that loving support that the Fort Bend community needs. Thank you so much. Thank you for visiting with us, Sue. We hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Kristen. Glad to be with you.